Fuel costs. Producing your own fuel might be a good idea. It has the additional advantage that if everything goes to pot, you will still have fuel to run your machinery. When I think about producing alcohol for fuel, I always think about combining the process with biodiesel. When you're preparing grain and other substances to make alcohol, generally you compress out the oil and dewater it. Then you have diesel fuel to run most tractors. The general process. You grow corn. You run the corn through a corn press that removes the oil from it. You clean up the oil to drive a tractor. That's really the simple part of it. The remains on the process. Now the remains and process of the oil of the corn has all of the starches from the corn. That corn must now be mashed. The mashing process for corn is really nothing more than a low temperature cooking process. If I set up one of these systems on my farm, I would use solar energy from solar reflectors to cook my corn on nice sunny days. Where I live, we have lots of sunshine, and in the summer, the problem is not getting it hot enough. It would be maintaining the temperature low enough to cook the corn without destroying it. What the mashing process does is converts the complex starches of the corn into a simpler form of starches that bacteria can utilize Fermentation. The next step of the process is fermentation. Fermentation is a biological process where the bacteria create the alcohol. This process takes some time and sometimes is made into a continuous batch process. If the alcohol content of the fermentation gets too high, it will kill the bacteria. The liquid from the fermentation is drained off and taken to the next step. The next step is distillation. The a fluent from the bacteria is distilled at a controlled temperature to separate from the water and the impurities. This can be done using solar energy. After it has been distilled, it is filtered and pretty much ready to use as fuel. Alcohol fuel. Now one thing I remember about alcohol fuel is that it is less powerful than gasoline. If you're going to use alcohol for fuel in the same engine continuously, then I would recommend that you modify the compression ratio of the engine, which will make the use of the alcohol fuel much more efficient. What's left? Well, you have alcohol fuel. It can be mixed with gasoline as a fuel additive to improve the performance of your engine to reduce the gasoline consumption. This is where things get sticky. The government wants you to pay tax on the alcohol fuel if it's used on public roadways. However, if you use the fuel to improve the performance of the engine, you may not be required to pay taxes on it. So what have you gotten out of the process? You've gotten diesel fuel, you have alcohol for fuel, and you have meat to eat. In other words, the process has enhanced the value of the corn. In the end, you have what you grew the corn for as well as biodiesel and alcohol fuel. Many other plants can be used to create alcohol fuel and biodiesel. If you're really interested in this, do some research. There's a lot of good material out there. I have two fairly large notebooks full of material.